Validating your software ideas is really important. I think I can speak for many of us here, but when we have a software idea or a business idea that we want to work on, in our minds, we think that that is going to be the business idea that's going to set us free, it's going to make us a ton of money, and that when we develop the product, it's going to end up exactly how we see. And if you've ever gotten past that point, you realize that 99% of the time you're completely wrong and that customers either don't like the product that you made or your idea in the first place, or you've changed the product so much based off the user feedback that it becomes a totally like different product than you envisioned. And a big mistake I've noticed with myself in my previous apps is that I'm very hard headed when it comes to validating business ideas, but I actually want this business to succeed. So I actually have to validate ideas. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I'm validating my gamified version of self-improvement app. So the first way I'm validating my business idea is building out a landing page for people to sign up for beta. And in my opinion, this is the best way to test out whether your idea has any merit or not, because you don't really have to build out an app. You can kind of just build a landing page and see whether or not people like it or not. And all I'm doing is building out a simple landing page with a way for people to like put in their email so that when the beta comes out, I can email them and they can use the app. The goal with it is to kind of hope that people will sign up. I'm not expecting a crazy amount of people, but if a few people sign up, a few people comment and say it's a cool idea, then I kind of know that this is the right path we're going down. Another thing I'm doing to validate this business idea is building out a Discord channel for beta users. And if you noticed in the landing page, there's a Discord button there so that people can join the Discord. And now this will be different than my main Discord. I thought about making it into one Discord channel, but I don't want to confuse the two because you know, some people just don't care about the YouTube channel. So I'm just making the Discord group so that as I'm developing the app, I can make updates in there, talking to my users, gain insight into what they might like, asking them questions, getting on calls. And I think that way I'll get way better insight than I ever would. And again, even though this may be 30 people and maybe two would ever talk to me, those two people are extremely valuable because they are the type of user that I'm trying to reach. And if one user likes it, then in most cases that user has the same interest as the other people I'm ranting at this point. Another way I'm validating the SaaS idea, and this is like a little different, is letting my friends and family use it. Now, as a developer, I have no friends because I spend 99% of my day inside of my house and more specifically in my room coding. But I do have some YouTube and Twitter friends that I can ask to try out the app. And this might be later in the development process, but I'll ask my family to use the app so I can see how they're using it. They're not the ideal avatar, but it doesn't matter. I just want to see how they're like navigating throughout the app. So this is just another way. This is a very small way because it's probably gonna be like three people trying the app, but this is just an extra way to see if I'm missing something on the UI side or or in terms of features. And so the final way I'm validating my SaaS idea is through Tech Twitter. Over the past year, Tech Twitter has grown to be this like Goliath of tech people. I like to think of it as the modern and more cool LinkedIn. And in my opinion, every single developer should be on Tech Twitter right now. I literally got hired for my job on Tech Twitter. And it's not only good for jobs, there's a lot of people showcasing their apps on there and it's gaining a lot of traction. Like I found about Cursor because Cursor posted a video on Twitter using like th they're demoing their video. That's how I found out about it. And so what I'll be doing is making different demos of the features that I will be building. Like I already made a video on the using the landing page because I had cool transitions and cool animations animations and people loved it. I got like, I think a couple hundred views. And even though tech Twitter is not my main avatar or people I'm trying to sell to because it's going to be people on self-improvement, this will be a great way to gain better engineering insights into my app. So like maybe I'm doing something wrong or I'm not using the technology that I should be using. This will be a great way to get recommendations, opinions of high level developers to make the app better. And if you're not on tech Twitter, I don't know what you're doing. You should definitely be on tech Twitter. It's the best thing you can do as a developer. And so yeah, I'll leave the link below to the landing page if you're interested in being a beta user. I think the app will be awesome and it will be free for beta users, so why not use it? Also, if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment your nationality below. Um, as you can see, I have the Lebanese flag and the Canadian flag because I am both those nationalities. So comment below, I'm definitely interested in seeing where you're from. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.